This video is brought to you by Rainhead's Bunny Maid Dress. Cute, fluffy, and available now at rainhead.booth.pm. That's rainhead.booth.pm. For only 1,500 yen. That's under $14 and under £10. What a steal. Just look at those frills. Hi there, it's Rain. Assuming you want to fit any clothing item to your base model, it's very easy to turn a 2 hour process into a 6 hour one, so hopefully these tips will help you save some hours. Using this dress as an example, um, I want to preserve the skirt rig and I'll show you how I'll preserve the skirt rig. But usually you might be able to get away with just adjusting it and then doing a data transfer and you'll, you'll be on your way, especially if it's uh, like a trousers and top item. So. In pose mode, you're going to get the armature for the outfit and you're going to be adjusting the bones with scale and messing with some of the settings so some scale doesn't apply to the ch children bones um, in certain hierarchies and slowly making sure the armature and the shape of the clothing is starting to fit your model. After that pose is done, go into Cat's Blend plugin and um, applying the pose as rest pose. There's a way to do this uh, in Blender, it's just a Google search way. Um, but it's a, li it's, a, it's a bit more complicated, I'm not going to go over it. Because uh, A, it's easy to find and B, Cat's Blender plugin, it's literally just a button click. It's not hard to download the plugin either. Minimal edits to the topology is probably going to be needed, especially if your body type is very different to the body type of the outfit. But you want to keep sections where they're meant to be. Anything that is around the the arm bone, for example, you want to keep in that general area. You don't really want to be stretching, pulling things unnecessarily. Because it will mess with the rig a lot. Um... You can also, if if need be, turn on uh, X mirror, so things keep symmetrical. And if really need be, you can split the mesh in half, delete half of it, and then add a mirror modifier to the other half. You can't do that um, to any clothing items that have shape keys that you want to preserve. If you don't care for the shape keys, go ahead. Uh, you're going to have to delete them if you're going to apply the modifiers afterwards. So, once you've finished getting the the outfit shape um, to a high enough quality, you're going to be dealing with two different armatures. Now they can't work together in pose mode, so you're going to have to get rid of one armature and merge them. Now, as I said before, I believe. You can just do an armature deform and then drag the outfit over, but if you have extra bones like we will have in the skirt, um, you're going to be deleting any bones that are not rec are not needed for the dress, like uh, the eyes, the head, the fingers, hands, and then going through Kat's custom model creation, I believe it's called, and merging the armatures together. Again, it's only a couple of button clicks, so it's not too difficult. Um, after joining the outfit to the correct armature, you can go into pose mode and mess with stuff, see if what needs to be changed, changed, adjust, fixed, and then the last few things you'll need to be doing is possibly a data transfer on the top if you need to, and making sure top and skirt is separate and doing some weight painting, no data transfer, only weight painting on the waist of the skirt. Again, you're gonna go into pose mode, make sure everything moves seamlessly together, and consider deleting any mesh that's not gonna be seen, because it's, a, it's a, gonna be a lot of time trying to perfectly avoid any clipping issues when you can just get rid of any unseen mashes. Hopefully you found these tips useful and I uh, guess see you in the next one. Thanks for watching the video. Hello!